Hello everyone, this is Nolan Tech Complaints. Welcome to my dorm. And I'm getting ready to leave because we have Thanksgiving break. So I'm going to bring some of this stuff. I'm going to bring this plane. Uh, and I'm going to put some landing gear on it and practice some landings and stuff. I'm going to get started on the XB70 build. Actually, not started, but uh, finish some more stuff on that build. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Alright, so I went and I drove and I got... A couple of wheels here that we'll be using along with this to do a landing gear, a retractable landing gear for this. Now it's not going to be a proper retractable landing gear, it's just going to use some of the flight test control wire and some servos and stuff, but I think it'll work out pretty well, um, so let's get to it. Alright, so I've got the F-22 out here with the retractable landing gear. And I'm going to do some test flights. The first couple flights I'm going to do are just going to be it flying around with the gear down and up and belly landing, just trying to get a feel of how it performs with the gear down and the gear up. We're going to start with the gear up. Alrighty, it seems to belly land pretty well. There's not much difference from the normal flight characteristics. Uh, I think the CG shifted a bit aft and it was a bit more tail heavy when the gear was down. But other than that, it, it, it just flies just the same as it does, which is great. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to try is gear down landing here. We're going to bring it around and I'm going to try and set it in right over here. On the sidewalk, maybe if I can. Nope, go around. I narrowly avoided the trees there. Alright, not my best landing. Uh, I could have aimed for the sidewalk, but uh, I didn't I didn't make it. So I guess now we're gonna try a sidewalk to take off. Now the problem with this vehicle is that it has it does not have a steerable nose wheel, so actually taking off is going to be uh, quite difficult. So I have to get the wheels all perfectly in trim and such. So I'm, uh, <laughs> that is not good. <laughs> I think the nose gear got bent a little, so now it starts to collapse. Okay, so the nose gear is not cooperating right now. I'm not sure why. It's like it's, yeah, it got bent back in the crash. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't have a locking mechanism for the gear, so the back has a way to stop it from going too far, but the front doesn't. So the front's the main concern here. Okay, drop the gear. Oh. Ah. Okay, so I think based on that, hopefully you guys saw that, 
the nose gear definitely needs some work. I'm going to have to do probably a total redesign of the nose gear. Uh, I'm going to put the other packs through this, but this is all we wanted to see. So, um, yeah, I guess we just need to redesign the nose gear, and we'll come back tomorrow with day two. All right, it's day two of F-22 with landing gear. I've got about two hours before my family leaves for Thanksgiving, and I just got out of the shower, so we'll see if I can finish this in the time I have. Alright, so it looks like it works. The nose wheel doesn't retract as far in as I want. Uh, I can tweak this later though. Uh, so now it looks like I have about 40 minutes to go fly and yeah, let's get to it. Here we go. Alright, I'm going to drop the gear. Gear is down. Looks pretty well. And gear back up. Yeah, I can't tell the difference when it's flying. It's just the same as before. So, now I guess I might try and bring it in for landing. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's any performance effect at all, whether the gear is up or down. So now we're gonna have a have a try to take off real quick. So I might have to try the road if I'm gonna take off the land here. I think I'm gonna have to definitely reinforce that landing gear. Unfortunately, right now I don't have time, so... Alright, it is day three of this project. Hopefully the last and final day. I have the reinforced nose gear, uh, the new redesigned reinforced nose gear right here. And we're gonna attempt, uh, I think, a takeoff, because I know it can belly land, but I don't know if it can land with the gear down. So we're gonna start trying off the takeoff, and then we're gonna do a uh, landing, hopefully today. And unfortunately, uh, the last two days there wasn't much wind, but now there's there's some pretty significant gusts in the upper levels above the trees. So this will be pretty interesting. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna start with the takeoff here. So I'm just gonna put it down and see if we get taxi, sort of get it, the wheel trimmed out because I don't have steering, and then we'll go for it. So. Hopefully I'll go well. Okay, it's way out of trim. <laughs> so I need to have this front gear turn that way a little bit. It seems to turn when I give it a bit of power. So I think I'll set it up like this. And after that, it tracks straight. Which is cool. Hey, what do you know? We got a takeoff. Alrighty. That's the gear up. And here we go. Alrighty, so I, I think I'd call that a success. We've gotten a takeoff here. It's pretty simple, you just gotta hold off of it and then it just jumps right off the ground. Uh, I think we're gonna do a go around here and then come in for a landing, so we'll see how that goes. 
I do have a crosswind here, so this will be interesting. I don't have any rudder, I just have bank and yank, so. Hey, that was a bit sketchy, but hey, I, I think that's uh, fairly successful. Uh, the landing gear might be a little bit bent, but it's still intact. I don't see any damage, so I think this is a viable method of actually putting landing gear on your small plane. And uh, I guess all that's left now is just to have some more flights. Okay, I'm just gonna bring you guys over to the pump house. I think it might be a bit of a better place to actually do some takeoffs and landings here. Uh, I did have a bit of a, a bit of, a bit of a crash. It wasn't that bad. I had it with the gear down though, and the gear is it's it's absolutely fine. There's no, there's no damage whatsoever. Um, so I'm pretty confident in this design. I feel like it's uh it's gonna be a very durable, lightweight, effective solution too putting landing gear on small planes and I mean it's already been done before I mean it's just like a ghetto sort of well it's, it's not a proper retract unit let's be honest here it's just a servo it's gonna wear out over time but I mean for what it is it's just real a really cheap solution to having landing gear and it works well so yeah let's try some more takeoffs Oh yeah, that's great. That's a good shot. <laughs> That'd just be a lesson, kids. Keep your hatches on tight. That's gnarly right there. Also use Loctite on your prop nuts. Don't ever, when, when you're doing a pusher prop, don't ever forget to put Loctite on your prop nuts. It's very important. I could almost hover this thing, but I'm not going to try it. All right, guys, this has been Nolan Tucker Planes with the retractable F-22 landing gear. I think we're going to mess around with it a bit more, but that's all for now, and I'll see you guys next time.